Hey YouTube, today we're going to be doing a little review, just a little review of the Savage X 4.6. This is a great nitro car for my. This has this has been my first nitro car, and so far I'm I love it. It's so fun to drive, so easy to tune, and I know it's just a lot of fun. So here's the body. It is pretty beat up. Well, not really, but it's kind of dirty as you can see from the inside. It's really dirty. But that doesn't really matter. So here is a truck inside. There is some rust right here. I don't know if that's normal. I'm trying to polish that off. But yeah, so I'll start with the pros. Actually, no, I'll start with the cons. The cons to this car is that one, it gets really dirty, but that's kind of obvious because it is a nitro car, as you can see in there. There's a lot of duck and grease in there. So I gotta clean that. I'm gonna take my engine apart right now and really clean it. So yeah, that's one pro, that's one con, sorry. And another con, it's pretty loud, but it's not that loud that you can't deal with it. Sorry, I'll just check something. Not that loud that you can't deal with it. And so my neighbors don't really complain, but my dad kind of does. But it doesn't really matter about that. Um. So yeah, that's a couple pro, that's a couple cons, sorry. Uh, I don't think there is... A lot of cons. One thing I don't like is that it doesn't come with 17 millimeter hex. I'm gonna have to upgrade that. It just comes with the stock. I don't even know what hex that is. But yeah, so I'll go along with the pros with some pros that what I like about this car is the shocks. The shocks are amazing. I love these shocks. They handle perfectly. I wish my Revo had the shocks like these because they just handle awesome. The back ones do sit a little bit lower, but that's because the motor is in the back. That's a little bit heavier, so I'm going to put some shock stiffeners back there. As you can see, the shocks do come down to put sh uh, stiffeners in there. So yeah, that's one pro. Is that the shocks. Another pro is that it's really, 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 really easy to tune. I've been tuning it pretty good, well, I think. And it's been doing a couple wheelies. And yeah, so tuning, I think it's a pretty easy car to tune. Another thing is that how it handles with jumps. When this thing jumps, it's like, it's, it's amazing. There's no bad thing about when this jumps. This car just hits the jumps perfectly, lands them amazingly. Uh, so yeah, that's about, that's a lot of, there, that's another pro. Another pro is that the gearbox is really easy to change the spur gear. You just unscrew three screws on the top. So I like about it. Um, right now, as you can see, I'm running, well, you can't really see it. I'm running a three-speed transmission here. And I love the sound it makes when it's just going, when it's shifting into gears. Uh, so yeah, that's a pro, just that the sound it makes. Uh, yeah, I just like this car. I can, honestly, if I like turn it like full speed, it will flip. But if I'm careful enough, I can barely flip this car. It just handles perf. It just handles really, really well. The shocks just absorb everything. There's gas in there because I ran it like yesterday. But yeah, I'll probably just go clean it out a little bit. Uh, another pro, everything. This, there's steel jack shafts, I don't know if you can see them right in here. Sorry about this back camera angle, right there. They're really rusted, but whatever. I'm going to be replacing those with brand new ones. I've been running this in the snow lately, <laughs> Not, no problems yet whatsoever. So this is the this is the transmission, and every, sorry not transmission, the receiver and everything is in here. I don't think the receiver and everything is waterproof, but this does keep it at least splash resistant. Um, so yeah. One thing I like about this car is that it's really easy to take apart and fix. If you need to take the spur gear, as I said before, there's a couple of screws right on top of this gearbox that you just remove. To remove the motor, you just unscrew these four screws and the motor pops right off. The gas tank, these pins hold it in, see, so, so easy to pull out. So yeah. Um, one question I was wondering is, there's this hole right here. I don't know if you can see that, Let's see if I'll focus there. There you go. Uh, I don't know if the screw is supposed to be in there or not, but I don't think so. I don't, I'm not sure. I think there was a screw in there before, it just, I think it just fell out somehow, but I don't know. So that's one question I was wondering about this car. Whoa, focus. There we go. So yeah, uh, another pro is that there's a lot of bodies for it. As you can see, this is the stock one right here, but this one, sorry, it's full of duct tape because I wrecked my paint job, but... This is like the Mustang body for it. This fits right on top of there. 
So it's just covered in duct tape because I do jump this car a lot and the bodies get wrecked really easy. So it's just color covered in duct tape. I don't think it looks okay. Not that bad. I just ran out of duct tape to fill in these spots. But yeah, there's a lot of bodies for it and a lot of replacement parts for this. You can get probably most of it in aluminum. I know there is like aluminum arms, but I haven't had any problems with breaking them. They are so thick. Like, they're at least a centimeter thick. Not up here, but down here, they're a centimeter thick. So yeah, so that's a pro. Uh, the plastic's really strong. Steel uh, chassis. And yeah, so the overall rating of this car out of 10, I'd probably give it a 9. I don't... I just love this car. It's probably one of my favorite nitro cars in the market. I want to get. I was thinking of getting like the upgrade the of their head for the motor because the purple one is just kind of weird. But yeah, I was probably just gonna be get upgrading this car a little bit. But nothing has been breaking so far, and I've been jumping in this thing like crazy, and nothing's been breaking. So that's one really, really, really good uh, pro is that it doesn't break. That's what I love about it. My Evo doesn't break at all because it has RPM, but this thing. It's just amazing. It's probably one of my favorite cars right now. So yeah, there's uh, just a little review. I'll do another review later on when I get to know this car even more. So yeah, there's the review. Here's the car in uh, full view. And yeah, if you have any questions, concerns, just post them in the comments below. Bye.